There's no more important issue one could have settled in their heart than to know they have a relationship with God and the promise of eternal life. So how does one come into relationship with God and gain assurance of eternal life? God's word is clear. They must receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. The word gospel means good news. There's good news in Jesus. It's important to know this good news begins with some bad news. The Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There isn't an exception. We have all sinned. And Romans 6.23 tells us the wages of sin, what we've rightfully earned, is death. The day sin entered the world, humanity died. Now, apart from Christ, when our physical life ends here, we enter an eternity of separation from God and punishment in hell. That's the bad news. Well, what's the good news? The good news is that Romans 6.23 doesn't stop with the phrase, for the wages of sin is death. It continues, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Yes, we were dead, but God made a way. That's the good news. Jesus, God the Son, set aside his robes of glory and came to this earth. He took on human flesh, lived a perfect life, and as the only sinless person ever to walk the face of this earth, he was wrongfully sentenced to die on a cross. There he willingly laid down his life and shed his blood to pay the penalty and take the punishment for the sins of the world. He died and was buried, but three days later he rose again. And because of his work, God now freely offers us an opportunity to be right with him, to live in relationship with him, to be forgiven, and to be assured when our life here ends, we can step into eternal life. How do we receive this gift? Romans 10.9 says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Confess. Declare him to be Lord of your life, consciously turning from doing things your way and simultaneously giving control of your life to him. And believe, knowing you're a sinner in need of a Savior, believe Jesus died for you and that he rose again. If that is you, call out to Jesus. Romans 10.13 says, Whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. It's not about something you do or something you can earn. It's a gift of God. Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. That is the good news. And this very moment, God is extending that gift of life to you. The question is, will you receive it? Well, as always, thank you for watching this video. We invite you to subscribe to our channel, share this video. You'll be informed of new videos that we put out on the channel. We also want to invite you to reach out to us if you are not certain of your salvation. The Lord is coming soon. If you have never been born again, if you just need someone to talk to about this, please reach out to us. We'd love to have a conversation with you. You can contact us at feedback at rockislandbooks.com. Thank you, and Maranatha, may the Lord richly bless you.